Hi everyone, Holly here, Psychic Medium. Thank you for being here and thank you for being part of the channel. I, um, I appreciate it more than I can tell you. Connecting with the spirit and well, it's the best part of my life, not just my day. Um, we are all connected. We are all connected through spirit. When I visualize it, it's like circle, overlapping circles. We each have our own spirit, soul, and being, but there's that peace that interlocks. Okay? Um, and that's what makes us strong. That image of a chain, you know? So, one link is dependent on the other one to be equally as strong. And at a soul level, we are all strong. Sometimes people around us, or we, make bad choices. And we don't uh, take care of ourselves or put ourselves first. But you know what? We can always change that. All right. So the message today is a little different, I think. Oh, and like and subscribe <laughs> if you like the video. And please subscribe if you are so inclined. Um, I do appreciate all of, all of you for doing this. Um, and, I, and I do kind of delete a few comments because I want to keep the community um, non-judgmental and, and a positive place because there's enough negativity in the world. So that's the only time I'll mention this and or the only way I'll mention this. Um, overwhelmingly, overwhelmingly, everyone has been so generous with their time and thoughts and comments. Thank you. Okay, so I need to do a little practicing what I preach. And that was the message that came up this morning. Um, I am kind of running on fumes. It has nothing to do with this or this work. It has to do with some other work I'm doing. And I realized I'm investing too much of my personal energy into it. So going back to this concept of, and I, you know I talked to spirit about it. <laughs> you know, um, This concept of your body is your biggest psychic tool. A lot of you are practitioners already. Some of you are at the beginning of your journey with learning how to either be a reader or just connect for your own purposes or channel or whatever it is that, that you do. Um, but a whole lot of people, I think, uh, for, they live in their heads and in the crown chakra with this, but forget that the body, the body is basically the vehicle we're driving through the entirety of our lifetime and it gives us clues. If the check engine light comes on in your car, you're not going to ignore it. Or if you do, you know the car is not gonna be long for this world. So if your check engine light is coming on, step back for a minute and evaluate what's going on. Is it spiritually based, physically based? Is it a combination of mind, body, spirit? And then figure out <clears throat> how can I fix this? What can I do or what do I need to change? And sometimes that change may be slow coming. But if you start the process, that's where the, the hope lies. Okay. That's where the hope lives. And that's what gives us the energy to keep going. Maybe you have a time frame you're setting and time frames are also important. And that's, they're, they're saying, talk about that, talk about that. So time frames are important. Okay. Ask for help from spirit, but jump in and take responsibility for your own life because no one's going to do it for you. And that's just a little tough love. Um, but definitely said with love. And I am not saying anything to you all that I do not say and have not said to myself. Trust me. So if your body is your biggest psychic tool and your body is wearing out, and for those of you who are practitioners, you will get this. Our bodies work overtime because when we are trying to connect and do spiritually based work and we're functioning at that really high vibration, or you just naturally do that without even having to be a practitioner and you're holding you down another full-time job or whatever, you know, everybody has this connection. Everyone has this connection. And so if you start noticing things that don't make sense, or you're always not feeling well when you're around a certain person or group of people or situation, notice it. 
it's real. Your body is giving you a check engine light or a low tire pressure light, okay? Now, that's just my little moment of the day um, to, to think about. So, I am going to ask for a message because this morning, all morning, I've been asking, what is the message for the collective? What is the message for the collective? And I will get into a card pool if there's time. I only got one deck out because that was the only one I was drawn to. If we have time, and I'll show it to you if we do. But, oh, here's our mug for the day. Let your light shine. I needed that as much as <laughs> I think everybody else might. Um, hang on. Hmm. All right, I do feel like we need to get a message to come through. This doesn't feel like someone that normally I connect with or channel. It's very kind, kind energy. It feels like the feminine divine. And anybody with certain religious sensitivities or whatever, I don't, I'm not trying to offend you. I'm just saying, you know, I feel like there's a feminine divine spirit coming through. A gentle mothering energy. Mm. And it's very moving. I'm going to let her step in and I'm going to step back because my um, of this world kind of person that I am right now uh, in this incarnation, I don't want to skew the message. So I'm just going to let her merge. Thank you. Thank you, child. grief and suffering you feel is warranted only in this place where you live. Where you live in a world that may not always be as kind as all would hope. But understand that you do not walk this path, this journey alone. We are always with you through the best of your times in life and the worst. The worst are only lessons and opportunities for you to make change, for you to find your own strength. Just as a child will fall when they first learn to walk. If we catch them every time, there is no lesson. They will not learn to walk. They will expect to always be picked up and carried. This does not mean that you are alone. One of the toughest responsibilities ever taken on is as a parent. You watch your children suffer. You watch your children make mistakes. But you know that is part of growth. But you also know you will always support them should they look you intentionally, deeply into your eyes and reach into that knowingness that you have in that connection. Even with distance between, there is an energetic willingness and need to help. Just as we are your sisters, your mothers, your fathers, your siblings, 
just as we are all of these things for you, know that you can always reach out to us. But in this lifetime that you have chosen, there will be times when you stumble. There will be times when choices are made and then you change your mind again. And that is part of this lifetime. If you had all the answers, there would be no cause, reason, or purpose for coming into the incarnation. What this child may offer or anyone else you seek would be signposts along the way to help you navigate a map the key to a map so that you do not get lost but everything you need is within you continue the journey in your own way and in your own time it is your journey The choices you make are yours to make. If they are perceived as right or wrong, you have the ability to change anything in your life. <laughs> this one always tells us, but you're not here. You're not in the trenches. You don't understand paying bills. You don't understand. You don't understand illness. But that is when she falls into the deepest, darkest places of being human. When she allows us into her life and her heart. She remembers who she is and that she has the ability of change and health and healing. We love her so much. We love all of you so much. And she's feeling stronger now, as we hope all of you are. Take comfort. Take comfort in that you are not alone. Take comfort in that you are always surrounded by God, by whatever name you call this being. Thank you. We love you. We love your strength for coming into this lifetime. Okay, thank you. That was... Mm -hmm. For those of us who did not have a mother figure or a nurturing mother figure, maternal in any way, um, 
call her by whatever name you want, Divine Feminine, Miriam, Mary, Mother, whatever. And I, I hope I don't offend anyone by saying that, but that's, that's what I felt. And physically talking about Um, I can feel pressure, but good pressure on my chest because I just feel so full. Thank you. Um, you're going to be just fine. That was close to the love I felt when I crossed into the light in my near-death experience. It was that unconditional love. If it takes you time to get where you need to be, understand that's okay. I am one of the most impatient pers people you will ever meet <laughs> in your lifetime. And uh, if I've ever wanted anything, it's like, it's up to me. I got to do it. And so that means I always feel like I have to do it immediately right here, right now. Come on, let's go, go, go. And that's not always uh, a healthy attitude. It hasn't been for me. So for you guys, understand if it takes a little time to get where you want to go, to work through a healing process, to work through a financial process, to work through a career process, to work through a relationship process. Okay, I am hearing first and foremost, always make sure you are taken care of and safe. If you're not safe, it's hard to do anything. If you're sick, it's hard to think clearly. Um, if you are not taking care of yourself, make that a priority. But um, more than anything, I hope through this channel of the Divine Feminine, I hope that that energy was able to reach through. I felt I could feel her pushing outward, surrounding me, but pushing outward to all of you as well. And... Um, so hopefully that transferred through and, and hopefully if you were able to receive it, well not able, everybody's able, if you were willing to receive it or whenever you need it, um, understand that it, it's there. Okay. All right. I'm going to wrap it up. Um, that, that was enough. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I love all of you so much too. Hit a mental reset button. And that will hit a physical reset button and it will give you the clarity that you need to move forward. I'm hearing this. I've heard it before. I think I've even said it before, but I'm hearing it really loudly in my ear. Um, stagnation is the only true death. And when I say true death, that's when we start to wither. We never die. Our souls never die. But stagnation, and often stagnation from fear, Fear of change, fear of being unworthy, fear of whatever it is. That is the true death. When you remember you have immense power reserves within you, when you remember that, you can do what you need to, to live in a way that is satisfying and healthy for you.
and that's going to be different for everyone. Um, these are only suggestions. You have free will. You can do or be whatever you want to be. These are only suggestions. But again, thank you. Live your best life and have a good day. I love you. Thank you. We're hanging out for a few more minutes. This isn't working. <laughs>